Ladies and gentlemen, three arena Dublin, Ireland. We are live across the world. This is the co-main event of the evening. Three five minute rounds in Bama's middleweight division. Our fighters are ready. Our judges, our officials are ready. Dublin Island, make some noise if you're ready! Interesting first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man stands 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighed in at 185.4 pounds. He has a record of 12 wins with 10 losses and 0 draws. Five of those wins by TKO. Fighting out of Stratford, Greater Manchester, England. Andy the Lions And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man stands 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighed in at 184.8 pounds. He has a record of six wins, one loss, and zero draws, with all six wins by TKO. Dublin Island's very own Paul Burns! When the action begins, your referee in charge, Daniel Moverheady. Chris, a big middleweight showdown. And let's face it, if one of these men wins big tonight, the middleweight title could be theirs as a challenger. This, an extremely pivotal bout in this division. The return of Devent. The pressure on Byrne to perform in front of the packed out Dublin crowd tonight. The two meet in the middle of the ring, and we are underway. And a hook kick there, and immediately replied by Devent, and the Irish fans are already in full voice for Paul Byrne here tonight. As I said, this could rocket him for a title shot, but Devent setting up that takedown attempt. Byrne sprawling well. Classic Andy Devent punching his way inside, driving for the single leg. Some defense from Byrne, but it's the open guard now off his back. And Chris, the right tactic, when you've got a man, as you said, starches them in under two rounds, you want to test him on the ground early. You don't want to be stood there trading and risk everything in an early exchange. And Devent dives on the Dubliner's back, both hooks in, punching now profusely. All that hurt him. It's all over! Oh, my goodness! What a statement from Andy Devent! Nobody could have predicted this, Chris! Unbelievable stuff! Holy guacamole, Andy Devent! Back in the building, a thunderous right hand puts out Paul Burke cleanly. It's the return of the Lions' paw, and what a statement. Oh, Chris, he is back in business big time. We said he didn't want to stand and trade with the man. He set his punches up for the takedown, but when he got the takedown, he was ruthless. No hesitation whatsoever. Utter bedlam at the hands of Andy Devent. What elegance the way he got there on the back. An incredible way. Look at this, Chris. Tactically, he got this dead right. Both hooks in, used double unders to make sure Paul Byrne couldn't shake him off. And here we go. There's one, there's two, three, four, and that's it. Daniel Mobahidi had seen enough. Incredible. Here, another angle. Devent holding those double unders, you see, because you can notice Byrne trying to shake him off. And let's get this right. Dead right tactics against the man that knocks them out upright. Bang on the money. Kaboom. What a beautiful performance from Andy Devent, showing off just why he believed he would be the superior athlete here at Bama 24. It's Devent with a brilliant first round stoppage. Oh, yes, a man with momentum was Paul Byrne, knocking them out left, right, and center. Devent, as we knew, the far more experienced, and that experience came into play with his tactical choices, didn't it? Plain and simple, Andy Devent showed off adaptability, monumental control and now has crowned himself back on the run for another title here in Bama. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee called a stoppage in his bout, 59 seconds of the first round. Your winner by knockout in the blue corner, Andy the Lion's Paw Duval! Andy, after a performance like that, you must feel like 
King of the jungle once more. I am. It's king of the savannah, king of the jungle, the lion paw, mate. Now, devastating puncher, great record. I think tactically you got it superb and paid him real respect. Yeah, uh, I know Paul's dangerous on the stand-up, you know. Uh, I didn't underestimate his skills or his abilities. Let's always... look here. Let's, let's look at the finish here. OK. Yeah, just a lion on the, uh, the antelope or the wildebeest or... The, the, uh, the, the wild pig, I don't know. But, yeah. The lion on the Irishman. Now, you said you're in the shape of your life, your preparation was superb. We're seeing it here, where you get those hooks in. Did you think, though, it would be so quick against such a dangerous opponent? Uh, no, I, did, I didn't. Th at first, when I took his back, I thought, I could hear his corner, Cavana shouting, shake him off, Paul, shake him off. But, you know, my, my claws were in him, and, uh, you know, when he left his chin open and he wasn't defending his neck, so I opted to either choke him out, which he was defending, so I just, you know, I seen the chin and just, just hit it. Now, after your fight, we've got another huge middleweight showdown. Will you be looking at that and thinking, I'm back in that mix? I'm always back in that mix, man. I'm never out of it, you know. You know, I'm gonna, I, you know, I, listen, you know, I like Cheat Cohen a lot, man. He's a, he's, a, he's a great athlete, great fighter, you know, he's a great character. And as I said, you know, uh, depending what happens tonight, who knows, you know, maybe, uh, hopefully I want Cheat to win anyway, you know, because it's business and we could dance again. You know, but I want him to win anyway because I'm a fan of his as well. So, well, Andy, with that performance tonight against such a dangerous opponent, you really are back in the mix, ladies and gentlemen. The Lions' poor Andy Devent. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Ireland. Thank you, Dublin. And just to let you all know, I've got Irish blood running through my veins just as much as any of you in this arena.